What's up everyone? We're back again for some more Gundam Evolution gameplay. We're playing Eggsy again. Actually, it hasn't been that long since I last played Eggsy. As you guys probably know, I, I tend to avoid the melee suits a lot. Don't really like them that much, but uh, I have had a bit of a soft spot for Eggsy because they're not really a pure melee, but uh, still, they're they're a tough one for me, and I'd say pretty dang map dependent. Uh, as, but, uh, you know, in domination in general, I do feel like I'm a little more comfortable pulling out uh, the melees, especially this map. This uh, Mountain Iron D-Lab does feel like one of, uh, at least for me, one of the maps that's kind of best to pull out the melees. I don't think I've actually really tried to play Barb here, um, but I do like this map for Exia. Uh, I also, this is one of my few maps where I kind of occasionally pull out the melee Zaku. Unfortunately, I haven't had really any good games with him lately, but uh, this is one of the maps where I at least make some attempts from time to time. But uh, yeah, Exia's actually been feeling pretty great recently. I've been playing him a lot more than I usually do. I don't know if it has really has anything to do with the buffs or if something just clicked for me and I'm, I'm suddenly liking the suit a lot more. But uh, I've also been playing them on Buried City a lot. I feel like they're pretty good on the, um, the do that first uh, domination point area. Uh, but I haven't had as much success after that. I said before that I felt like they wouldn't be too good against uh, the reactor. Because uh, you kind of have the low damage output just with the the beam daggers, but I mean now that they actually you know lowered the health of the reactor, I don't know if that's as big of a deal anymore. Uh, but also I just I don't know, pushing down those like long hallway areas towards the reactor and defending them. Uh, for me at least, I struggle a bit there with Exe. I like having kind of the more open areas where I can flank around, uh, like a map like this where there's kind of a lot of areas you can hang out. Uh, but so far we're actually a little bit behind. A little bit rough at the start there. I got hooked twice by Marasai. Uh, actually, was it twice or... No, I got hooked the first time, and I nearly survived. Then I chased him down, because I won my vengeance. And I got him, but then I ended up dying for it, and he got repaired. Second time I went down, but uh, thankfully did get repaired. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for him. Obviously, Marasai can be pretty good at shutting down these low-health suits. Um, but as long as he lands the hook, at least. And he is over here now. It looks like he missed the hook. or He may have actually got it on our Marasai, but he lived. He's out there. Let's see if I can get some time on the point. Might be able to pick up a kill on that exit. Nope, he gets away. No, someone else got him, but at least I got the repair on the Mar uh, the Mahiru who is safe. Gotta get that Sazmi to back up. And uh, they do got Sazmi on their team, which Exia is pretty good against. Uh, if you don't get him with the... You know, you do need some help, because even if you get him with the, the fully charged um, slash into the rotating slash... Uh, for that extended stun, you're still going to struggle to get him down from full HP. And once he's got that shield up, you're just plinking away at with the beam daggers. But uh, as long as you got some people to help you, it's pretty scary as a Sazabi to go up against an exit because it's hard to get that axe for the stun. And then if he stuns you, you just kind of, you know, wide open for a bit. You lose a good chunk of your HP just from Exia, and then if anyone else is around, it's going to be a struggle. But right now, just kind of jumping around on the point a little. They got their Exia still. He does get hooked, so we got the Battle of the Mara size, both hooking Exias. Looks like we went out that time. And that was actually a long contested point there. I, I don't think the enemy team actually had much of, much or any of a cap on that at all. But we still barely got ahead of them off of it. We're going to catch this Gundam a little out of position. Got our whole team together. But Marasai was behind. Took a little late to get there. And he got me again. No hook this time. And he got the shock. But I actually get repaired. And Amy's going for that recovery gun in the middle. I'm sitting... I have a Marasai and a Sazabi on top of me. And I still got out of there alive. So I've got another chance at life. Poking away at them. I don't have the, the slash yet. I'm trying. I thought I saw Mars I charged there, but I guess it was a gun tank. Just pick him off a little bit. Get Dom as he's trying to back up to get a health pack, and they're on me again, but I'm just going to run away. And Marsai, he goes for. Our Marsai goes for his shock. Gets two there, I believe. Now we're going to see if we can get the point back. They got about 10% of it so far, but we might be able to claim it back pretty quickly. Dodger on this Marsai again. I think his hook is down. Pick him off with some help from Pale Rider. Done things in, but a little too late. We've got the cap now, and we're in a pretty good position here. We've got them a little bit staggered. If we can pick up this Dom, it'll even be even better. I tried to hit him with a rotating slash there to knock him into my teammates. It didn't really work, but we still got the kill. Uh, That's something you got to be careful about. I know in the past that I played Exia, uh, I really like to go for the rotating slash because it's basically like guaranteed damage, but it does have that knockback, and if your teammates are shooting someone, uh, sometimes you might knock them to safety, so you got to be careful. Right here, just going for the G maneuver. Kind of missed some of that on the Mar side, but we did pick up the kill on the Gundam. So not the biggest G maneuver, but at least we, we did pick up one kill out of it and managed to secure the rest of that point. See this Ring Zaku coming in back here. I actually kind of surprised that Rotating Slash hit him. I felt like I was too high up in the air. Kind of swung over top of his head, but I guess it just barely clipped him. Got the kill there. I tried to pick off their eggs again, but my hero actually won the 1v1. Didn't need my help. Now we got a couple of them coming down here. 
top. I'm gonna trap him in the corner there. That's a good time to hit him with the rotating slash. Just trap him in there where those Mahi grenades are gonna hit him. And I get the hit there with my fully charged slash, but uh, I don't think my rotating slash is quite up again yet. Try using the air to finish off Marsai. Gundam's also really low. You can see if I can get at least one of them here, but no Gundam lands a really nice headshot on me. Really unfortunate I missed that rotating slash there, and I'm not the best with aiming the daggers either. I think just one or two daggers on either one of them would have gotten a kill there. Uh, but just narrowly missed on them, and then they took me out with that headshot. So they do the point back again, and it looks like they're about to even it up again, unless we get... No, we got it back, so we still have a little bit of a lead. Might be able to get the repair and dynamics here as well, since Exy had to back up. I do. I got that Dom as well, and I think we're in a good position again. I don't know what kind of gym maneuvers they have available. We've got a few. Marsize probably being the biggest. Just kind of zoning out this Exia. And with the rotating slash, and then here comes the daggers. I was expecting him to cut that angle a little bit earlier. Nope, missed out. I think Mahir went for the chase. It's going to be a little bit of a tough one, but maybe he'll get him. Looks like he did, actually. I got Rangizaka here. I think his smoke is already down. Just Dom left. No chance of surviving with that Marasai ult. And there we go. Real, pretty close round one, actually. There's a lot of back and forth, but we did kind of run with it, away with it a bit at the end there. We'll have to see if they change anything up going into round two. All right, round two beginning here. Looks like our team is, I think, basically the same. I don't actually know if we changed anything. Let's see if they change anything up. They do still have the Marasai. Looks like a Hyperion is new, which normally, not too happy to see a Hyperion because that shield is tough to get through, but Exia actually one of the better people at dealing with him. Only 900 HP, so once you get that uh, that full combo on him, there's not much left. So you might actually just be able to finish him off with the beam daggers before he can get shield up. Just helping out with that gun as well there, and it looks like we're going to get a quick B-point cap here. I think there's a couple of them hanging out up top, but they're not going to come down and contest on their own. We do see a switch up. Looks like they're already off the Hyperion, opting for Jim instead. That probably will fare a little bit better against Exia if you're tying the shield bash well. Uh, and they do have a uh, unicorn this round as well, and a barb. Those are all new. Do manage to pick up the barb there as he's running away. Barb, uh, you know, can be trouble for Exia. Obviously, if he does land his hits on me, I'm going to die pretty much guaranteed. Um, but it's hard for him to land them, so uh, he's got to be pretty good with his timing or sneak up on me. There's the gym. He did do the shield bash. Don't actually know if that connected with me there. It's kind of bashing in the opposite direction. That may still hit me a little bit. He's juking it out of it with Pal Rider. Get the quick slash out of him. Didn't want to charge it up too long to give him a chance to hit me. And delayed long enough for the rest of my team to show up. We might be able to hold all of B here, which would be pretty good. Sazby coming in, but I think he's mostly alone. Actually, might have been a better idea to go for the uh, the full charge there. I'm a little bit worried because he turned towards me, and I was afraid he might shred me with a shotgun. But uh, the full charge getting this stun there would have been a pretty much a guaranteed kill. But we ended up getting it anyway, so not too big a deal. Just gonna slip in here and just barely get Marasai before he expires. Getting that repair. And then they're already squared up on C better than us, but we got that pretty early Marasai Jimmy. We're picking up quick two kills. Sazby's behind me right now. He got pretty low, three shots, almost dead. I knocked him back and managed to slip out of there. Looks like Pale Rider is cleaning up the remainders, along with those gym mines. So we also got the cap on C, and if we hold this for the whole thing, that's going to be a pretty big swing in our favor. Much different than the first round. So far, they're struggling to get any time on the point. Right now, we're pushed up a little bit on them as well, kind of zoning them out. Don't think I want to charge in on any of them, and I'll go ahead and poke away with the daggers. I should picked up a kill on that Gundam there. He might get repaired. But if he does stay down, that's good. He's been really good at laying those shots on me, so I'm hoping he's... He's out of the fight for a little bit longer. It looks like he is. Sazby coming in. Another good shot. I'm debating whether to dash away or just into him. He does slip around the corner, though, so I decided to get that stun on him before backing up, but tried to be sneaky. I was just talking about I'm glad that Gundam was dead, but it actually came back to bite me there because he was coming from spawn. I was thinking I could slip around back because uh, I I was a little bit worried that Sazby was going to chase me and he'd be expecting me to go to my side of the map for the health pack, so I thought I'd be sneaky and go to their side, but running into someone coming from spawn... Uh, means I'm gonna end up going down there. So I did get a little bit on C, so not a complete um, shutout anymore. But we're going back to B, and we saw that how that went for us yeah, at the beginning of this round. So and, and they, I think they momentarily switched off the Mars side. They're back on it again. So far, I've been lucky to avoid any hooks. Um, but if he gets one of those on me on B, I'm pretty much guaranteed to be dead unless my teammates help me out. Right now, once again, they kind of have the early hold on the point, but if we can win a quick fight, we might be able to get back onto it before the cap starts, but no, it looks like they do have first cap. Nice hook on the bar, but he got caught on the wall. 
didn't get any headshots there, so he managed to slip away. Looks like he went down to Pet Rider anyways. I'm gonna hit that, get that stun on Gundam as he was going for the Hyper Hammer, but he headshots me again. I thought about contesting him and fighting him since we were both low, but his aim has been on point, so I decided to play a little bit of safe and get the health back first. Looks like he got uh, taken out by the Mars Well, anyways. Just sounds to be alone. And we're getting close to 100%. I activated my G-Maneuver. I was hoping to catch some people coming in, but it looks like they're still a little bit behind. And there's still a fight going on over here, so I end up using most of my G-Maneuver just to go for repairs. Slip underneath someone there, but I actually get two, I think, with the Slash. I think I caught Marasai with the tail end of that, so some pretty good damage just as the G-Maneuver ends. A lot of people going down, just Sazabi, his shield's weak, his health is low, forcing this gym to back up. And there we go, they could not get in position to contest the point again. Overall, a pretty strong fight from the enemy team, but in that second round, we just uh, kept them shut out where they really couldn't get any time going on the point. No Exia MVP this time, but honestly, not all that uncommon. I think even the really good Exias kind of struggle to get the MVP just because Exia is, you know, more of a burst character than a kind of consistent damage thing, which will mean you probably won't get uh, the high damage cards too often. But overall, I'd say a very good game for me on Exia. I really, I am enjoying the suit a lot more, so you, who knows? You might see uh, more gameplay for them soon. But I do want to give the other melees a shot as well. I feel like I owe them that since I haven't done a video in a while. Um, but either way, that's going to be it for this time. If you did enjoy the video, you can stay tuned here and catch more on YouTube, or you can also catch me streaming live on Twitch. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.